Hey guys, it's Renny. So for this napkin holder, I'm going to be using a few of these craft sticks. And first I'm using five for each side, 10 in total. And while most of these uh, sticks have like round edges, so I'm going to be using my ruler, my Sharpie, and then just going with my cutters, cutting the excess. And then just to make this smooth, I'm going to be filing this with my nail file until it's like soft. How wide I need this to be is like 12 centimeters. So I'm going to mark that, then do the same thing that I did before with my Sharpie just uh, to have a like straight line and then just cut it so I'm gonna be doing twice on this but I'm gonna show you just once I'm going to work over a piece of parchment paper take my super glue apply glue to one edge then just place my stick over my parchment paper and just glue it and carefully move it around just so it doesn't stick to the parchment paper it's really important to use parchment paper dough to protect your table then I'm going to be cutting two more per side. I'm going to be cutting this based on like the previous one that I cut it. So the point of this ones are to bring stability to those walls. I just don't need to see them like in the final product. I just need them to be on the background of it, covering most of the sticks. Cutting the excess of this using my super glue to glue the whole thing together again on both edges. For the base part, I glued two sticks together twice. I'm going to glue them one on top of the other and then adding like some details or just base underneath it and then just gluing those so this is what I have so far this is the base to I have my two walls and I'm gonna glue these three parts with my super glue first I glued one side dough let it dry completely 24 hours after I glued the other wall and then I let this set and dry with this glue holder that I actually uh, have a DIY showing you where you can get it I'm gonna be painting this with a uh, white acrylic paint covering the outside and then the inside with black acrylic paint and then here comes the fun part and this is actually the reason why I chose to work with craft sticks because they are two centimeters wide at least mine are I'm just going to be making squares with that same measurement and to make this squares I'm going to be marking two centimeters all across them I'm going to be doing the same thing on like the bottom part and then just gathering those marks with my ruler I painted each square one by one using my black acrylic paint and this brush this tiny brush now I got this brush in like NYX and WX cosmetics like the store the store that i usually went to is closed now i don't know if like that's forever but yeah this is where i got this brush from i think it's like for eyeliner but yeah any brush with thin bristles will do having a longer brush really helps to just paint these parts that are more delicate i don't have a steady hand at all but what helped me was not drinking any coffee at the moment and breathing slowly while i was doing this and to fill my squares i just went with a bigger brush and then this is another like it's kind of like a brush but it's kind of like a sponge thing brush thing that i got at nyx too you can use the same brush that you did before this is just going to be to just clean those edges with wet acrylic paint and because this is hand painted the lines are not going to be perfect and kind of like that's the, the fun part of like the beauty of it but i'm just going to be making those lines a bit more straight then i'm going to be using like the same sponge brush with my gold acrylic paint and i'm just going to be painting the edges of this and then i painted in gold the bottom part of this as well I'm going to be taking some gloss that I bought at Home Depot, working outside, wearing my gloves, and just giving this two coats and letting it dry in between coats. But yeah, guys, this is the uh, napkin holder that I wanted to share with you. I love it. I am obsessed with this. I just think it's so much fun, this pattern. Um, there's something so classic about it, but so much interesting and just so much fun to look at. I wish that I could have a house with a floor with this pattern like Chris Jenner does. Isn't it cool? But until then, we have this napkin holder. I really like it i love it i really hope you do too if you do don't forget to give this a thumbs up check out more affordable home decor that i have on my channel subscribe for more and share this thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye Whoa.